Dementia due to Alzheimer disease is the most common form of dementia. Onset is insidious with memory impairment typically reported as the initial presenting complaint. The characteristic course is a slow but steady decline from a previous level of cognitive functioning with impairment in additional cognitive domains, such as executive functions, attention, language, social cognition and judgment, psychomotor speed, visuoperceptual or visuospatial abilities, emerging with disease progression. Dementia due to Alzheimer disease may be accompanied by mental and behavioral symptoms such as depressed mood and apathy in the initial stages of the disease and may be accompanied by psychotic symptoms, irritability, aggression, confusion, abnormalities of gait and mobility, and seizures at later stages. Positive genetic testing, family history and gradual cognitive decline are suggestive of dementia due to Alzheimer disease. Diagnostic requirements of dementia due to Alzheimer's disease 6080, 1. All diagnostic requirements for dementia are met. 2. Dementia is presumed to be attributable to underlying Alzheimer's disease, 8A20, based on quantified clinical assessment or standardized neuropsychological-slash-cognitive testing, neuroimaging data, genetic testing, medical tests, family history, and or clinical history. 3. Early clinical history is typically characterized by gradual onset, progressive memory problems and word-finding difficulties, as well as mild functional impairment. The most common form of Alzheimer disease begins with neuronal impairment in the medial temporal lobes, the brain regions involved in memory formation. As Alzheimer disease progresses and affects other brain regions, neurocognitive symptoms worsen. Atypical forms of Alzheimer disease are also characterized by progressive neurocognitive and functional impairment, with initial neurocognitive symptoms often corresponding to the brain regions initially affected, for example, visual processing impairment in posterior cortical atrophy, etc. Additional coding for dementia due to Alzheimer's disease include 1. Code for causing condition, 8A20 Alzheimer disease, 2. Coding for severity excess, mild, moderate, severe, free coding for 6086 behavioral or psychological disturbances in dementia, 6086. Further subtypes of dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. 1. 6080.0 Dementia due to Alzheimer disease with early onset, dementia due to Alzheimer disease in which symptoms emerge before the age of 65 years. It is relatively rare, representing less than 5% of all cases, and may be genetically determined, autosomal dominant Alzheimer disease. Clinical presentation may be similar to cases with later onset, but progression of cognitive deficits may be more rapid. 2. 6080.1 Dementia due to Alzheimer disease with late onset, dementia due to Alzheimer disease that develops at the age of 65 years or above. This is the most common pattern, representing more than 95% of all cases. 3. 6080.2 Alzheimer disease dementia, mixed type, with cerebrovascular disease, Dementia due to Alzheimer disease and concomitant cerebrovascular disease. One. All diagnostic requirements for dementia due to Alzheimer disease are met. Neurocognitive, functional, and or behavioral symptoms of dementia appear to be partially related to coexisting cerebrovascular disease, as demonstrated by neuroimaging, medical tests, and or by clinical history of cerebrovascular disease. 3. Neurocognitive and functional impairment is progressive, and typically characterized by combined impairment in so-called cortical cognitive functions, for example, memory, language, and or visuospatial skills, and so-called subcortical cognitive functions, for example, attention, 
processing speed, and executive slash frontal lobe related functioning. 4. 6D80.3 Alzheimer disease dementia, mixed type, with other non-vascular etiologies, dementia due to Alzheimer disease with other concomitant pathology, not including cerebrovascular disease. All diagnostic requirements for dementia due to Alzheimer disease are met. 4. Neurocognitive, functional, and or behavioral symptoms of dementia appear to be partially related to a known comorbid etiology, as demonstrated by neuroimaging data, genetic testing, medical tests, family history, medical history, and or clinical history. Differential Diagnosis of Dementia 1. Boundary with Delirium Delirium is differentiated from dementia in that delirium is characterized by global neurocognitive impairment, and confusion that have a precipitous onset, are transient, and fluctuate depending on the underlying causal condition or etiology. Dementia is more typically characterized by impairment in specific cognitive skills, and is often progressive and more gradual in onset. Individuals with dementia are at increased risk for delirium, and those who develop acute disturbances in attention, orientation, and awareness may be assigned an additional diagnosis of delirium, and should be evaluated to determine its specific etiology. 2. Boundary with mild neurocognitive disorder, dementia is characterized by marked impairment in two or more cognitive domains that is severe enough to cause significant impairment in personal, family, social, educational, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. Neurocognitive deficits in mild neurocognitive disorder may be in similar cognitive domains, but are not severe enough to cause significant impairment in functioning. 3. Boundary with amnestic disorder. Amnestic disorder is characterized by prominent memory impairment relative to expectations for age and general level of premorbid neurocognitive functioning, in the absence of other significant neurocognitive impairment. In contrast, dementia is characterized by impairment in two or more cognitive domains, which often but not invariably includes memory. 4. Boundary with disorders of intellectual development, disorders of intellectual development are characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning, and adaptive behavior, with onset during the developmental period. By convention, cases that meet the diagnostic requirements for disorders of intellectual development are diagnosed as such unless the neurocognitive impairments are known to be caused by an etiology that is specifically associated with dementia, in which case the dementia diagnosis may be considered. Both disorders can co-occur, and some adults with disorders of intellectual development are at greater and earlier risk of developing dementia. For example, Individuals with Down syndrome who exhibit a marked decline in adaptive behavior functioning should be evaluated for the emergence of dementia. In cases in which the diagnostic requirements for both a disorder of intellectual development and dementia are met and describe non-redundant aspects of the clinical presentation, both diagnoses may be assigned. 5. Boundary with Mood Disorders Episode Cognitive concerns and mild measurable cognitive deficits may occur in the context of mood disorders. These typically improve with appropriate treatment of the corresponding mood disorder, as compared to dementia in which neurocognitive impairment is not significantly affected by treatment of the mood disorder. Standardized assessment or quantified clinical assessment may be helpful in identifying the presence and objective severity of neurocognitive impairment, which may not correspond with an individual's subjective cognitive complaints. 6. Boundary with factitious disorder and malingering. In factitious disorder and malingering, the neurocognitive symptoms characteristic of dementia are consciously feigned. Feigned symptoms may be though are not necessarily, atypical in pattern, magnitude, or course or may be medically implausible. 
Individuals with factitious disorder feign neurocognitive symptoms in order to seek attention, especially from health providers and to assume the sick role. Malingering is characterized by intentional feigning of neurocognitive impairment for obvious external incentives, for example, disability payments. 7. Boundary with neurocognitive symptoms in other mental disorders, neurocognitive symptoms may be a characteristic or associated feature of a wide range of mental disorders. If the neurocognitive impairment is better explained by another mental disorder, an additional diagnosis of dementia should not be assigned. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.